Good morning. Um, it's Monday, which means the start of another vlog. I'm really, I feel really positive this week. I feel like I've got lots of cool stuff going on this week, which will make for a really interesting vlog. Not vlog, vlog. Um, I, I mean, the less said about last week, the better. It was just, it was bad all round. Weather, motivation, my hay fever, everything. It just wasn't it wasn't vlog worthy and I could tell from the get-go like last Monday that it just wasn't going to be an interesting enough week to vlog it so um, I thought I won't bother. This, so this week I feel like I've got lots of cool stuff going on, lots of exciting things going on. I've got some cool things arriving as well and this morning I ordered a camera which means I won't have to do this using my phone anymore, which I'm also really excited about because vlogging using your phone is quite difficult, especially because sometimes I'll be recording and I'll need my, I'll want to use my phone quickly for something and I have to sort of like take it off the tripod or whatever. Um, also, I can't see myself because I use the front facing camera, whereas the camera I've ordered has a flip up screen so I'll be able to see if I'm in shot and whatnot. And yeah, just the quality will be a bit better. So this morning, Mondays are turning into like admin days. And I find like they're the least interesting day to vlog because I end up just doing sort of jobs to, that will set me up for the week. Like today I know I'll sit and do quite a few emails and just plan out my week. Just do those like quite boring admin things. Like I need to go to the post office, I need to go to the bank. I kind of try and get the quite mundane jobs out of the way with on a Monday. I'm also taking my dad out for lunch today. I say I'm taking him, I bet he'll end up paying because I didn't see him yesterday and yesterday was Father's Day here in the UK. So um, I'm going to take him out for lunch today, which would be nice because the sun is shining. I'm going to make another smoothie. <laughs> um, if you watched last week's vlog, you'll remember I made that awful green smoothie. So, Today I'm going to play it safe and I'm going to stick to the smoothie that I know and that's my, that's a, like a berry one that I do which I will show you. probiotic um, that just helps with like gut health, energy, it says here it's collagen, keratin, um, it's a plant protein, it says here it's organic pea and hemp protein and I, I tend to just pop this in just so that it does help with my, um, with my tummy a little bit.
really like this smoothie because you can't you can't really go wrong with it. Um, it's a pear, the juice of an orange, a handful of blackberries, some oats, some almond milk, some sunflower seeds, a couple of ice cubes, and then you know like whatever protein powder or prebiotic. I quite like this because I like this smoothie because I don't eat bananas not because I don't like them but because they don't agree with my stomach I really cannot eat bananas and it's really annoying because I do love bananas but if I yeah if I eat a banana within a few hours I'm in quite a bad state and uh, annoyingly bananas are like the base of most smoothies so I'm always always on the lookout for smoothie recipes that don't have banana in and I find that um, I find that oats is quite a good um, substitute for banana to thicken it up. Um, so I quite like this. I like this because of that, and I like this because the oats are quite filling. Um, this isn't necessarily a meal substitution. I'll probably have some fruit, or like I've got some almond butter, so I might have some apple and almond butter as well alongside this. But sometimes in the morning when I don't want to have to make a huge breakfast and just want to whip something up quite quickly that's going to like, keep me going for a while. This is really good for that. It's really sunny today, but it's also really windy. So I'm I'm not going to wear a skirt or a dress because I feel like there'll be too much flapping around. So I'm wearing a jumpsuit. Um, it, it's a navy one from COS. I got it last summer. Um, I think they've done something of a very similar nature this season. So I will have a look on the website and link it below if I can find it. Um, so yeah, just super simple and relaxed. I'm just popping into town to meet my dad for lunch. So um, yeah, just want to be super comfortable. And then I'm wearing my um, Moonstar trainers. I got these via Studio Nicholson. But I think you can get several styles through Arquette as well. Um, what I really like about these is there's zero branding on them. They're completely plain. Because um, you know with trainers like Converse, Fasia, Vans, all of those, you get branding on them. Um, whereas these are just completely plain, which I really like. Okay, first run of the week done. Um, just doing some stretches, you can't tell. Um, I did seven kilometers, which is kind of like the minimum that I like to do when I go for a run. Um, ideally, I like to go, I like to do 10 uh, each time and sort of aim for 30 kilometers a week but because I haven't really run properly for a week and a half now um, I did struggle with that one quite a bit but hopefully this week I can get back on track and start doing three runs a week um, it sounds like I'm really trying to force myself to run but I'm not I, I genuinely do enjoy running it's just like it's just fitting into my routine because each week's different and ideally I'd like to run on a Monday a Wednesday and Friday but but you know that doesn't happen um so hopefully i can i'm away now so tomorrow's tuesday so i'll be away i'm away till thursday night so hopefully i can get a run in on friday and then maybe one on saturday or one on sunday to embrace my hair's sort of true wild waviness today um yeah quite like it i'm learning to just embrace whatever my hair does each day it's tuesday now and i i'm going away this afternoon um i'm going to see my friend liv purvis who i haven't seen since her wedding which seems like it was ages ago but actually i think it was only three weeks ago which is mad three weeks like that has flown by and just feels like it was a long time ago so i'm looking forward to seeing her and then um 
Tomorrow I'm going on a press trip with Lindsay and Lizzie with a jewellery brand, which I will share more about tomorrow. I'm in the middle of packing for the next few days, hence the mess that surrounds me. I'm just trying to figure out what to wear because it's meant to rain, but it's still meant to be 20 degrees, which is like the hardest weather to dress for because you don't particularly want to wear a coat because it's too hot for a coat, but because it's raining, you feel like you should wear a coat. Ugh. Um, so this is kind of like my preliminary outfit at the moment. Um, but I'm not sure, just not sure. Nothing's been ironed yet, so hence why everything looks a bit creased, but eh, maybe. Or maybe if I switch out the sandal for a trainer. Something's not right and I can't tell what it is. I don't know if this just looks a bit too blah and you know what I mean. It's just not, I mean, I like a minimal outfit and I like things to be pretty plain, but sometimes, I don't know, I do not know. Has the vest saved it? I can't tell. Maybe because the t-shirt was so baggy, it needed actually something a bit tighter. Um, this is just a really old um, Uniqlo La Mer collaboration top. Well, it's a body. Um, you know, when you're just having one of those days where I mean, I'm sure this looks fine, but in my eyes, it's not looking right. Um, and I'm pretty sure that everything I put on isn't going to look right. I'm just having one of those wobbly mornings where I'm overanalyzing what I'm putting on. Maybe I'll go with this. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's quite nice with a flip-flop, doesn't it? But my feet are in no fit state to be on show today. Ugh. Something very exciting has just arrived um, and I've been so excited for this to arrive. I ordered it on Sunday. Did I order it on Sunday? Yeah, I ordered it on Sunday from Amazon and it is here. Da 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 da! It's a wooden ironing board. This is probably the most underwhelming reveal of a delivery ever, but my gosh have I been excited for this to arrive. We have a metal ironing board that we have had for, I'm not even over exaggerating, we've probably had it for close to seven or eight years and it was just awful, it was falling apart, um, it was not fit for purpose anymore. So I made it my mission to find a chic ironing board that I didn't feel ashamed to pull out of the uh, utility room and um, I found this on Amazon and uh, I feel like this is if Muji made ironing boards this is the kind of ironing board they'd make um so yeah we're very very excited to use this before I bought the board I did do a little bit of research and read quite a few reviews because I was a bit worried about a wooden ironing board especially because of all the heat and the moisture that's created when you're ironing I was a bit worried that it was going to Cause the wood to split or create mildew um, but loads of people said that they've had their ironing board for ages and it it's been fine they've had no problems whatsoever so that's very reassuring I did however order a like another cover just to put under this one so that it's extra padded because this is quite padded but I like it when they're really quite padded okay change of plan I'm not going to London anymore this evening which means I'm home for the day, so I can go for a run later on and spend this afternoon doing some house bits and shooting some content, maybe. Um, Dean's just popped to B&Q. He's, he's not very well today, so he's not working, but he's just pottering around the house doing some bits. So yeah, he's gone to B&Q to get some wire cutters because we're putting up some new pendant lights in our kitchen. We've had this pendant from um, Muto knocking around for ages and the plan was to always replace these two lights or these two bulbs with two of these. However, we just never ever got round to ordering another one because they are quite expensive. They're, I think they're about £120 each. So it's, it's just one of those things we've kind of, I guess, put off buying because of the price. But... It's one of those things, once you've got it and got it up, it's totally worth it. So Dean ordered another one and, and it arrived today. So hopefully by the end of the day, these will be replaced with two of these. Hiya. Hiya. Did you get the wire cutters? Yeah. 
So as you can see, um, my outfit for London tomorrow has drastically changed since this morning's choice. My theory is, is that if I have my legs out, that will keep me cool. But then by wearing the trench, I'm covered up for when it rains. And also because I've got DMs on, I won't get soggy feet. So yeah, fingers crossed this will work. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much fresh out of ideas. So this is, this is the one that's stuck so far. I'll just show you a bit closer what I'm wearing. Um, I've got a, this is a short sleeve jumper from uh, Margaret Howe and then I've got an Arquette belt on and then I've got these shorts from Arquette as well which I bought last summer but I do believe they are carrying this style again this summer. Um, I really really like these shorts because I don't like it showing that very top part of my thigh. Um, I've never really been one for short shorts so um, really like that these cover that part and I like that the leg opening is quite wide because but it means you don't when you sit down you don't get that horrible sort of like pull that you get sometimes with shorts um, so yeah they're super comfortable really like these and then this trench is from Cos which I think is now sold out because it it went into the sale and that that's when I got it I got when I got the um, email to say that Cos had gone into sale, I um, picked this, I like nabbed this ASAP as soon as I saw it really. Um, so yeah, I think, I think this is going to do the job tomorrow. Place called Battle Hall which is in Leeds in Kent so not the Leeds that we all know up north but um, down south I had no idea there was another place called Leeds in the UK so I'm here with a brand called Row Copenhagen uh, they're a jewelry brand they're a fine jewelry brand but they so fine jewelry probably wouldn't normally be my usual kind of thing but they do quite like minimal fine jewellery. I'll show you. Just got a brochure here and I'll, I'll show you some of the pieces. Um, so as you can see, it is, it's fine jewellery, but it's really nicely done. Like there's some really nice pendants. I quite like um, that ring. That's lovely. There's also a really nice signet ring in here somewhere as well. Where are you? Yeah, lovely signet rings. And they do some really nice plain wedding bands as well. And this is my room for the night. It's very grand. It's quite big just for little old me. Um, I have a funny feeling I'm going to get a bit scared here in the evening. I might have to get Lindsay to come and uh, share the bed with me so that I don't feel so spooked out. <laughs> I've not just woken up, I've been awake for a couple of hours now. Um, I did not sleep well last night at all. <laughs> I hate to go on about it, but honestly, my hay fever, like, 
as soon as I'm out in the countryside, obviously it's going to get worse. Um, I'm surrounded by fields, trees, plants, flowers, the lot. So yeah, did not sleep well last night. Had a blocked nose for the entire night, which was really uncomfortable. And you probably can't see it in this light, but I've woken up with, um, I've got an irritation on the side of my face here, which is bound to be hay fever related, allergy related. Anyway, um, the sun is shining. It looks like it's going to be a really nice day. So I, I am feeling good. I'm feeling much more, I'm feeling better this morning. Um, I'm going to just, I'm now going to go down for breakfast with Lindsay and Lizzie. And then I think we're going to go for a walk, which let's see how this goes. I am, I've like fully, I've got, I've done the nasal spray. I've done the eye drops. I've done a Claritin. So I am fully dosed up on hay fever medicine. Um, so let's see how this goes. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Are your thumbs not compatible? <laughs> <laughs> Copenhagen it was really really chilled out um, which is makes a nice change because a lot of work trips can be quite intense it was really nice to see Lindsay and Lizzie and just have like a super chilled time with them because a lot of the time when we're together we're in quite like full-on work mode um, so yes very nice to just have a relaxing evening and morning with those guys the reason why I have makeup all down my face is because um, obviously I've been rubbing my face of the allergies and put some eye drops in when I got home and my mascara went everywhere. Um, so Dean and I were meant to go out this evening. We were meant to go see Foles but we have decided we're going to stay home now because Dean feels a bit under the weather. He's got some weird like cold flu hay fever hybrid thing. I don't know what it is and my hay fever is just not like I can't I can't risk it because we were actually meant to go see foals in a forest, um, which would have been lovely because we could have taken a picnic blanket, some chairs, some food and had a really nice evening. But I'm at the stage where even if I, like as soon as I go outside, straight away, like I'm a mess. So to sit in a forest in the, for an entire evening, I don't think is very wise because um, that's when the pollen count is at its highest. I think the pollen count is normally at its highest in the morning and the evening. Um, but tomorrow I'm going to go to the doctor. So I'll, I'll stop moaning, hopefully. Um, I just haven't, getting a doctor's appointment in England can be a bit of a, um, just a bit of a pain. And I just haven't really had time because um, a lot of it just involves like sitting and waiting and yeah, just felt like I haven't really had the time to do that. 
so and so many people have just said to me you just need to get to the doctor you need to go to the doctor and get them to prescribe you something stronger than what you are getting in um in like boots and that at the moment so yes that's what i'm going to go do tomorrow and hopefully also we're going on holiday next week uh, and i just i want to be able to go on holiday sit outside and not have to worry that i'm going to have an allergic reaction to something so yeah i need to go to the doctor um and hopefully i'll stop moaning to you guys because it's i feel like it's all i talk about it's all i, it's, I mean all i do is moan to dean all i do is moan to anyone basically to anyone that'll listen good morning it's friday how did we get here again every time it gets to friday i'm just i'm left questioning where did the week go i feel like time's really running away from me at the moment i can't believe it's mid-june to be honest um so today i'm going to the tailor and i'm really excited because i get to pick up those bits that i dropped off three weeks ago um uh, i don't think he he doesn't normally take three weeks i'm pretty sure when i dropped them off he said he was going on holiday or something he was going away or something and that's why it was going to take three weeks um so yes very excited to pick those bits up because this weekend looks like it's going to be really nice weather and I would quite like to wear those linen trousers that I took to him. Um, oh, and our, our lights are up, our pendant lights are now up. Ta-da! <laughs> Another underwhelming house reveal. <laughs> um, so here we are, our two new pendants are up. So we've left, you can see we've left quite a lot of slack at the top there because we are unsure if this will be this pendant's final resting place simply because we are changing our dining table. I ordered a new dining table, which is due to arrive in the next two weeks, um, because we really like this dining table, but it's far too big for just the two of us. We don't, we don't use it, as you can see, it's pretty much a dumping ground, because it's too big and bulky to bring out into the sort of center of the room. So we just leave it pushed up against the wall and it never gets used. And I would love to have a dining table that we can have out more in the middle of the floor and use. So I have ordered a round dining table that is a lot smaller than this. Be also because I'll show you the kitchen, I'll back up a little bit. So as you can see, it's quite a long kitchen. Um, this whole room is just like a long, it's a long re rectangle. And there's lots of straight lines, lots of sharp, straight edges. I feel like this table doesn't quite complement the shape of the kitchen. It, it, I, I think we need something softer to break up all of these straight lines. So that's why I've gone for a round dining table. Um, so, so yeah, basically the round dining table we're hoping will sit more in the centre of the room. Um, so we think the pendant will actually move um, slightly more this way when the dining table arrives. So that's why we've given ourselves the slack. I would like to take a few minutes to talk about this popcorn that I found uh, in Tesco's recently. Um, because, so I am trying to reduce the amount of refined sugar I'm eating at the moment because I'm fully addicted to sugar. Like I just, I love I love sweets and I love chocolate I just love anything sweet and I have quite a bad habit of just like binging on sugary foods in the evening um, I just eat and eat and eat loads of sugary food and obviously that's not good for me and I think that sugar's bloating me I'm finding that after anything like really high in sugar refined sugar specifically I'm extremely bloated um, so in a bid to stop myself from eating or snacking on so many sugary foods, I've been stocking up on savoury snacks. And I found this popcorn in the reduced to clear section in Tesco's. And it's, it's sun-dried tomato and chilli popcorn and it is phenomenal. It's, oh, it's so good. However, by being in the reduced to clear section, I do fear that that means they're not making it anymore. And if that's the case, I think I need to go back and bulk buy if there's any left. Um, there's there's probably sugar in here, just because there seems to be sugar hiding in everything. Molasses, is that sugar? Molasses, is 
that a type of syrup or sugar or something like that? Um, anyway, the, the point is, is that by having more savoury snacks in the house, as opposed to having loads of sweet, it's definitely curbing my like addiction to snacking on sweet foods. Look what just arrived, new camera. I'm so excited to use this. I was really hoping this would have arrived earlier on in the week so that I could have started using it this week, but sadly it didn't, it arrived today. However, that means next week's vlog will be of a much higher quality. So yeah, I did buy the Canon G7X. It, you know, it's the camera that everyone uses for this type of um, filming. However, I didn't buy it brand new because I, this camera is quite expensive. I didn't really realise how expensive it was. It's over £500 and I'm, I'm not in the position to be paying £500 for a camera at the moment. So I thought I'll go second hand. Also, I've heard from so many people that the flip up screen has a tendency to break. So I thought I'm not spending, I'm not buying this brand new. So I went on eBay and I got this for £300 and I believe it's only been used a few times. So it's pretty much brand new. And also look at this camera case that they chucked in. I, I swear this wasn't on the listing, but look how nice this is. Like I will genuinely wear this with my camera in. Like how, how good is that? Really chuffed with that. They will be getting five star feedback from me. I just woke up for a nap. I can't remember the last time I had an afternoon nap. Um, I think the hay fever medicine just like knocked me out just then. I, th I think I took too much because I just sat on the sofa and could not, like, I just did not have the power to resist the drowsiness. Um, so yeah, just had to have a little half hour nap. Oh, I feel really like disorientated now. And um, just quickly tried on the acne linen trousers and I'm very pleased with them. Much, much better length. They were ever so, um, ever so long before. I was having to turn them up about three times. So I got them taken up literally just above the ankle. Second thing back from the tailor. Oh yes. So pleased that this is now properly hemmed because before I just wonder webbed it which is great but I just sometimes it's not very secure um it doesn't always last long um arguably the most unflattering jumpsuit but also the most comfortable jumpsuit that I have ever um tried on I think so this is going to be really good for um next week's forecast heat wave and then last but not least because I have I still have a ton of things that I want to take to the tailor is this marina london uh, silk shirt dress that I had taken up quite a bit actually because it was touching the floor um five foot three problems I um I was really quite sad to hear that marina london is no more but I completely sympathise with Marina's uh, reasonings to end Marina London. It has been going for a very long time and um, I have no doubt that Marina will do something very cool in the near future. She's a woman of many talents and I have a lot of respect for her. I always remember saying to her that I would love it if the Dree dress, which is this dress, came in black. They, a lot of other people used to say that as well, but she would always say that she didn't want to do anything in black and then her final collection was a black collection and I feel like it's really that was really fitting for Marina London's final collection. On one of my previous videos someone suggested that um or someone said that they would like to see the before and after next time I go to the tailor which I thought was such an awesome idea and I think it could be a really cool idea for a separate video because I've still got some trousers and a few other bits that I would like to take to the tailor. And it would be quite a cool thing to do, I think, to speak about the before and maybe like why I'm getting them tailored and what I think works for my body and my proportions and why I choose certain lengths or certain points to tailor things at. So I think maybe next week or the week after, I'm gonna rally together another bunch of things that I want to take to the tailor and try and do a before and after 
So thank you for that idea. Awesome idea. I was just eating my dinner and then I realised I hadn't um, quite properly signed this vlog off. Um, this evening I did a workout in the garden and then I made myself dinner, which is Moroccan spiced salmon on a bed of couscous. And in the couscous there's tomato, mint, onion, um, some lemon zest. Um, I like making this dish when Dean's not here because he doesn't like salmon. So when he is in here, I'm like, yes, get to make some salmon. And it's super quick as well. So yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a week, sign the vlog off here, because I'm going to spend my evening sat on the sofa watching TV, putting the vlog together. So nothing um, of interest. Next week, we're going on holiday. We're going away midweek. So next week's vlog will be mainly centered around me packing for my holiday. So that hopefully will be quite interesting. So until then, have a great weekend and I shall see you next week.